Hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. I've got a new camera angle because I moved all my stuff around in my room and uh, put this desk up against the wall and put the light right here. See, there's a light. Oh, oh speaking of which, look at this. I got a remote and I plugged it all in. Now I can turn off and on the lights. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna start a fire. All right, you guys, we're gonna align guides to objects today. Let's get into it. I've got a new artboard, new document open, and I need to bring some guides into my document. In order to do this, I need to show the rulers. Notice how there's nothing around this part of the screen, right here, right here. I need to show some rulers. To do that, Command R or Control R will hide and unhide rulers. You can also go up to view, down to somewhere, uh, there's rulers. Oh, right here, about halfway down, rulers, and you can hide or show rulers. Now, the other thing that you'll need to have turned on down here at guides, you gotta make sure they're not hidden. If you're not seeing your guides here in a second, it's probably because they're hidden. You can hide and unhide with command or control, uh, semicolon, or come here and click this. Uh, you can also unlock and lock guides in that same spot. So to grab a guide, we need to just pull out a guide from our ruler, just like that. And that's a vertical guide. Now I can do the same thing with this up here and pull out a horizontal guide. Now, as long as these guides are not locked, remember you can go back to that view tab guides and lock or unlock them. As long as it's not locked, you can select this guide and move it around. But if you want to center this to an object, let's say we have a rectangle, so we're gonna use the rectangle tool. Just gonna bring out a rectangle. And let's give it a fill of hot pink, because we love hot pink. All right. If you want to center these guides on this rectangle or just align them to the top, to the bottom, or whatever, go to the selection tool, select the guide and the object that you want to center on. So I've selected this guide, the horizontal one, and this object. Now I don't hold anything, and I click on the object. And that gives it like a double blue line around the edge of it. That means we're aligning to that object now. Now if I bring out my alignment panel under window down to align, this could be in multiple different places, but definitely for everyone using Illustrator, they're gonna find it there. Uh, and I show options with this little hamburger menu. Notice how there's a hide options. If I show them, I see the rest of this, which we won't need, but you can see that you're aligning to the key object now. All you have to do is use any of these to align this guy to any different point on our uh, key object, the rectangle. So we can use the uh, vertical align top to align it to the top, the bottom, or the center. And we can do the same thing by selecting the rectangle and the other guide, clicking on the rectangle, and uh, doing the left side, the right side, or the center once again. So that's how you align guides to objects in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you guys learned a lot in this tutorial. Actually, it was really short, really simple, but maybe that shows you something. Also, you can align regular shapes to other objects in the same way with, with aligning to a key object. Um, I'm trying some new hotkeys. I'm trying some new stuff with this tutorial. I got lights. I got a new setup. So I hope this all worked and went really well. I'm going to find out when I edit it here in a second. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, <laughs>